What if I told you that you could obviously add neons to your cars and you could actually turn them off and drive around with them off even though you've got them on so you could have a car that looks normal and then boom neon lights hello and welcome to today's episode of updates with GTA Online I am ACS Wolfman and we are going to be discussing a little thing that I had to experiment with today um, because I wanted to try it for a while where you can actually turn your neon lights off of your car and drive around get in and out of it and everything turn the engine off get back in and not have to worry about them turning on but you can still have them there <coughs> so very simply all you've got to do to do this is open up the interactive menu on your game uh, go down to the vehicle section and then remote functions which you'll get um, the option to turn the engine on or off uh, you can only do this when you're out of the car uh, turn your engine on and off you're going to want to turn your engine on which then obviously you will see all of the usual stuff happen with the headlights, the neon lights, the engine and everything. Uh, from there you can turn the radio off or on, you can turn the headlights on or off, you can turn the neon lights on and off. What you're going to want to do is obviously you can turn the neon lights off and basically that's it. Turn them off, you get into the car because obviously the engine's turned on once you get out the engine will turn off but when you get back into the car the neon lights will still be off so you can basically have a what looks like a normal car um, and then if you want to turn them back on what you gotta do is go back to the interactive menu ve vehicles remote function and then neon lights on. Uh, I haven't tried this with turning them off and then switching to a new lobby, um, but I'm thinking any kind of restarting your game, being restarting the console, changing sessions, joining a session, or joining a mission even, uh, joining a race, any kind of some form of resetting. Um, I think will change it back to normal where the neon lights turn on when you get into the car or when the engine turns on anyway but that was just a little thing that you know I just I found out I wanted to experiment with it and I think it's pretty cool that you can either have your neon lights on or off so if you have a car that you like but you don't feel like having the neon lights on it at the moment all you got to do is turn them off and then you're good to go rather than spending a hundred dollars getting them removed and then another, and then 30 grand again just to turn them on you're essentially saving you're saving hundreds of thousands of dollars just by turning them off rather than getting rid of them completely so <coughs> uh, like I said that was just a little thing that I discovered hopefully it was helpful to you if it was helpful then please leave a like, leave a comment if there's anything you want me to experiment and obviously don't forget to subscribe for more and to click the notification bell to be notified on any videos and updates that may come across in the coming future and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.